hello everyone welcome to this update before we get into this one remember to hit the like button the share button and the subscription button the link to the full conversation will be in the description box remember to comment let me know your views regarding this apology as we should know by now cliff Hughes made a call early on monday during their coverage of the elections in terms of sharing results that the People's National Party had won the local government elections in Jamaica. Before making that announcement, however, Cliff Hughes, supported by George, shared you know, challenges with the Electoral Office of Jamaica's database. They described it as poor because they weren't able to access results. Let us be frank. What we were expecting to have from the EOJ's database we're not getting it. It's poor. Yeah, it's poor. We're not able to tell you how many boxes have counted out of a total of so much or so many. Yeah, we just don't know. And that is crucial for us to determine where it's likely to go. Yeah, how many boxes, how many votes are left to be counted. And the EOJ database has not been giving us that information. So in the context of Cliff Hughes mentioning that they weren't able to access results, there are questions regarding the early announcement calling the election for the People's National Party. And one of those questions is how did Cliff Hughes reach that conclusion given you know this statement regarding not having access to the results and then a lot of persons are sharing that cliff Hughes made the right call but then something is going on something fishy is happening in the context of the elections at this point we're still not clear who is the winner of the local government elections in jamaica so Based on what was happening in Jamaica, Cliff Hughes apologized to the Jamaican people on Tuesday. Yes, last evening. Yeah, it was like a kick to the gut. Yeah? And uh, I know you all want to hear me on it. Yes? And that's how we're going to begin this morning. Yeah? I'm with you early this morning because of what happened last night. It was a tough night in terms of us covering the results and uh, establishing the implications of the results. And I want to say, Tona, Ricardo, listeners, we here at Nationwide over the years have developed a reputation for covering elections very well and calling elections very well. We have gotten it right. On all previous occasions, we did not get it right last night, when shortly after 8.35, we declared that the opposition, People's National Party, the PNP, had won the local government election. So far, Cliff, you stated that it was a tough night for their team. And I guess in the context of not having access to the results or, you know, the database from the Electoral Office of Jamaica. So based on what was said, I am just wondering if Cliff Hughes making that announcement early was about calling the election first, you know, their media house, because he mentioned to that based on the reputation that they have in the context of calling elections, they have gotten it right on those occasions. So was it about calling the elections first? Let's continue to listen to Cliff's apology. At that time, based on what we had in front of us, a clear trend had developed. Notwithstanding issues relating to or being able to get up to the minute results, yes, from the Electoral Office of Jamaica Election Center, we took the decision. And let me say, Clearly, I made the decision 
not anyone else. It was my call to make, and I take full responsibility for making that call in declaring that the PNP had won the local government election. As the night wore on and the topsy-turvy results system we had in place became clearer, it was obvious that that was a blunder, a blunder. Based on the results, it is wrong to say that the PNP had won the local government election. And I'm here this morning, today, to say that clearly, unequivocally. The other thing I will say in support of that, we had issues relating to accessing results, issues that we will have to assess in tandem with uh, our partners, the Electoral Office of Jamaica, being primarily the key partner here, that we will have to examine and review, critically review, and to learn the lessons from in going forward. But without doubt, I want to make it clear to all listeners, to all viewers, we apologize for the blunder we made last night, shortly after 8.35. It was a blunder. Based on what we're hearing so far, Cliff Hughes mentioned that a clear trend had developed in the context of the results. So I guess he's kind of saying there that is why he decided to make the call and he is taking full responsibility for that. But he also stated, you know, that there were still issues with the results coming from the Electoral Office of Jamaica. And so in that context, I can understand why persons are saying, you know, how did you make that call? And you have persons saying also that we know Cliff to be a responsible journalist. So he must have gotten that information from somewhere and perhaps he's protecting that source, right? So again, you know, unfortunate that these things are happening in Jamaica right now in the, in the context of an election. And so hearing from the Electoral Office of Jamaica would be good in the context of the official results you know for the local government elections in jamaica let's go back to cliff's apology local government as we have been saying in our coverage leading up to last evening there are a number of metrics we use to assess how well one does in a local government election local government is not a parliamentary election, you don't change national government in a local election. But the key, the key metric is how many of the local municipalities, and let me make it clear, municipalities, there was a time in Jamaica where we said parish councils, so that's what they are, parish councils, and they have been upgraded. So they have this new name called municipal corporations. But they are parish councils, as we would have grown up with. It is the municipal corporation that has the power, they have the power, yes, to pass regulations and enforce the laws at the community level that impact the lives of residents to the citizens of Jamaica in a meaningful way, yeah, in terms of urban planning, building approval, collecting your garbage, making sure your cemeteries work, fixing your parochial roads. They are the ones with the power, yes? That's where power resides at the local authority level. So to win a local election, you have to gain control of the majority of those municipal corporations. And as you have said, after a long night, 
and early this morning, as of this moment, the governing Jamaica Labour Party has won a majority of the municipal corporations, seven. All right, so based on what we're hearing so far from Cliff Hughes, there are several metrics used to determine election results. However, is emphasizing that the key metric here in the context of the local government elections in Jamaica is regarding the number of municipalities or parish councils won by a particular party. So what he is saying based on this perspective is that in order to win the local government elections in Jamaica, a party must get the majority of the municipal corporations or parish councils in Jamaica to win. Let's go back to Cliff's apology. The opposition has won or is leading in four others. That's 11. And two are tied as of this moment. The Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, the big prize, is going to be contested, I gather. But as of this moment, it's a tie in Kingston and St. Andrew and Clarendon. On that key metric alone, the GLP can claim, as it has claimed, victory in the local election. Now, in terms of the other key metrics, and given the state of the politics, especially the context of the PNP coming back from the dead four years ago in 2020, the opposition leader and the party are claiming, with some justification, that they went into yesterday's election with 98 of the 228 electoral divisions. And they have come out with more than 98. Again, based on the topsy-turviness of how we got the results last night and up to now, we don't know how many the PNP will end up with. What we do know is that the GLP has lost. Yes, it went in with 130. It has come out with fewer than 130. On that metric, the PNP is claiming victory. Okay? Now, again, I want to say to our viewers or listeners, because it's a fair comment, and I see the criticism. We have to take it. I have to take ultimate responsibility. Yes? And I want to do that this morning. We know that you come to expect of nationwide certain standards of conduct, certain standards of reporting, yes, certain standards of commentary, yeah, and analysis. And in that moment, shortly after 8.35 last night, we fell down. We blundered. And we're sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so based on the last part here of Cliff's apology, he stated that another metric was looking at electoral divisions. So in this context, you know, the PNP can claim victory based on the number of electoral divisions they have gotten so far in this local government elections compared to that of the Jamaica Labour Party. But again, if we go back to the apology, Cliff, you know, stated earlier that the key metric in terms of winning the local government elections, and this is definitely important, is based on the number of municipalities or parish councils won overall. And so again here, Cliff, you know, is taking full responsibility in the context of, you know, his error on Monday night. All right, so what are your views on this update? Please leave your comments in the chat and remember to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.